Hey there guys, what is going on? Today, as you can see, in Captain Price's hands are lovely, lovely eyes, as always. He's holding something very, very unintelligent there, as you can see. That is a 725 with a sniper scope. Now, what is he doing holding that? You would assume that a sniper scope is not required on the 725, as it's still broken. Like, you can get a tactical nuke without even any attachments. The 725 is still very, very powerful in this game. But, anyway... The slug rounds in the most recent patch did receive a bit of an update in which they are made more powerful, like they're more accurate, they deal more damage, like the range has been increased and so on. There's a load of different changes in the latest patch resolving around the slugs. And I did test out all the shotguns to see which ones were the best, like in terms of actual performance, the slug rounds are the best on, as we found out, the 725. To my knowledge, the one shot kill range or two shot kill range is pretty much infinite like you can shoot this thing as far as you want and you'll either get a one shot or a two shot kill whereas some of the other guns the drop off is about 25 ish meters which i mean for a class like that where you only get one shot you want to have it go as far as possible deal the maximum damage while not get a hit marker because if you do get the chance to get a second shot off you will probably die like the enemy will have already mowed you down with their m4 or their mp5 and so on but with this 725 class here, we can one-shot people from across the map. It's hilarious. You just look across the map and you see people going down and you're like, man, I bet he's upset about that because it only shows 725 and a sniper scope and you're like, how did I die? <laughs> just before we do get into this best 725 class setup here, let's try and get this one to 30 likes. I know we did make a 725 class setup the other day, but I feel like this one is way more powerful than having no attachments. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any more of these videos. And let's jump straight into our 725 class setup here because this is wacky. As you can see here, this class is titled Help Me. I don't know why. It should be cloud dumb, but I mean, what can you do? As you can see, that is a 725 with a sniper scope, and it's actually very, very effective, more effective than you would think. Starting off with our sidearm perks and grenade choices here, though, we've got the Akimbo 357. Normally, we would run the snake shot here, but it's way more powerful without the snake shot, in my opinion. The compensated, the long barrel, the 5 milliwatt laser, the lightweight trigger, and the Akimbo perk basically make this an absolute machine. Like, you can get shots from, like, 25 meters away one shots with this is absolutely insane i mean the snake shot can't do that it's as simple as that this is more powerful at the moment in my opinion we want that eod ghost and tracker usual combination here with the c4 in the lethal slot is very very powerful for chucking around corners and over walls it's also got a secondary use where you chuck it around a corner it'll block off that line of sight with a little bit of a spoke cloud you run around the corner and get some kills in the tactical slot we're always going this stim shot because it's just the best one like it's always just the best one and in terms of our 725 class setup here, I mean, what more can you ask for than having a shotgun with a sniper scope? This is the way the game was supposed to be played. This does remind me very much of something like the MK2 Carbine or the K98K in the way it performs. Like, you hit your shot, or you don't. And if you don't hit it, you're probably dead. So it's one of those weapons that's very difficult to use, but also very, very fun and satisfying at the same time. So... As for our attachments here, we are not running a muzzle, not running a barrel, not running a laser, which is a little bit unusual for this particular type of weapon, as normally we'd run like a choke, no barrel, like maybe a 5 milliwatt laser. But we're starting with the optic here in the Brownlee 32 millimeter scope. This is a very, very nice scope in which it gives you a four times optic to unlock this shotgun's true potential, as it says. This is absolutely hilarious. Like, but yeah, super unintelligent to run a sniper scope on a shotgun, but you'll see. You'll see. In the stock slot, we want the Temper Sport for that aim down sight speed. That movement's better and aim down sight speed is probably a little bit better, but I mean, this looks way cleaner, but statistically, the sort of stock is probably better for that movement speed and aim down sight speed. I mean, it might be a little bit difficult to hit the recoil control on the second shot, but I mean, it's going to be tricky as it is anyway, so make sure you hit that first shot. So I like the look of the Temper Sport, but the sort of is probably better. In terms of our underbarrel, we want that Merc foregrip for that recoil control and that aim down sight speed. Being able to get this side up very, very quickly, like the four times optic and get those sights down range, or those shots down range rather, is very, very powerful. We're of course taking these slug rounds here for that increase to our damage range. Super, super strong here. Dumb. So, so dumb. Like, <laughs> to my knowledge, this flies pretty much exactly where you want it to. 
I mean, you can increase the accuracy with the longer barrels and chokes, as it does say here, but it probably makes our aim down sight speed a little bit more unreliable. So, and lastly, in that guard slot, we want the temper slim grip for that aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed. This is basically your stippled grip tape. Very, very powerful here. Of course, you can take like a commander if you want that extra recoil control, but I feel like it's very easy to hit those shots with the Tempest Slim Grip. So this is the option we're going with here. As I said, this is a class designed around picking people off and playing very similar to like a marksman rifle in terms of the MK2 carbine. And it's very, very fun. Like this is a very powerful, fun class up to play with. It's probably not part of the meta, like it's not super viable, but it is super, super fun and really strong to play with at the moment. We're going to jump into some gameplay and show it off here. Alrighty, so this is probably the perfect map for this, as this is the quickscoping capital of the world in terms of rust, but I mean, if I was any good at quickscoping, I'd probably be using a different weapon, but man, this weapon is absolutely hilarious. Like, it's way more effective than it probably has any right to be. Like, you wouldn't think that a shotgun would be able to run a sniper scope and still be effective, but... This is like the quickscoper's dream here. See, like... Look at that, man. Like, a 45 meter long shot with a shotgun. This is absolutely absurd, but it's one of those weapons where. Is that. You've got to hit your shot. It's one of those weapons if you're not accurate or you're not good at quick scoping or you're kind of inaccurate, you're going to do kind of poorly with, which is why I do struggle with it, as you can see here. We're not. I mean, <laughs> that is ridiculous. I'm very glad these slugs were brought to my attention by somebody in my comments. The community out there doing fantastic work for me, like, always presenting me with new interesting ways to play the game, and these slug rounds on the 725 are of course no exception to this, this is hilarious. This is one of my favourite class setups. I always love class that really test out, like, your mechanical skill, even though I'm not, not like, that good, but man, this class is hilarious. Like, it's just so strong. Like, it's just... You point, you aim, you, you aim the shot, and you do the shoot. Simple as that. Like, that's it. That's all you do. That's like a budget MK2 carbine with sort of close-range potential. I mean, not really. Like, if you miss that shot initially, you're probably going to die. But it's just super mobile, and I love it. Like, this is one of the more class setups that's designed around... Like, ...entirely around having a good time. And it, that's exactly what it does, man. This class is super, super fun. You can't miss, though. If you miss, you're even more screwed when you miss than if you were using the MK2 carbine. But, simply don't. Don't miss. Get better, don't miss. See? <laughs> Uh, I love this game. See, don't miss. If you miss, you're probably done. I don't think that counts as a 360. One, because I didn't hit a shot, and two... It took me about 20 minutes to turn around. But like... <laughs> uh, there's not much I can say about this. You're looking at the same thing I am, and I mean, the only way to react to this is that it's hilarious. I think I might have missed out on the sleight of hand perk. That would probably be the only thing that makes us a little bit more efficient in terms of like... Making reloading a little bit faster, making it a little bit easier to hit more shots. Like, you give yourself more opportunity to hit more shots if you do have that sleight of hand on. No! <laughs> See, don't miss. If you miss, you're, you're done. You are finished. But to my knowledge, the range is pretty much across the map. Like, I don't think there's a range where this won't either get a one or a two shot kill like that's a ridiculous way to get long shots in this game uh we didn't even make our shotgun gold that's literally why i was using it the other day i wanted to make it gold i'm actually dumb this should have been gold i'm very disappointed <laughs> this is stupid 
This is one of the most unintelligent class setups that I've ever come up with, but it's so fun and so powerful at the same time. I mean, 21 and 8 with a dumb sniper shotgun hybrid is just... Mwah. You just think, how good would that intro to the video have been if this was gold? Like, I'm actually really annoyed with myself that I'm not going to re-record the whole thing. Like, look, it's so clean in gold, man. This is the best. But man, as you saw with that particular gameplay, this weapon is an absolute blast to play with. Like, you just get those one-shot kills. Like, you pull those sights up, get the shot down range. Don't miss. Obviously, don't miss. If you miss, you're done. But this is probably one of the most fun class setups that you can run in the game at the moment. It's up there for the MK2 carbine and, like, the K98K in terms of quick scoping ability. Just one of those weapons that's very, very fun to play with. It might not be an exact top tip of the meta, but it's still a fun weapon to use. And that's sort of all I really need to play Call of Duty these days is just to have a good time. And with this particular class that appear in its all shiny gold goodness is very, very fun to play with. So do try this out if you are looking for a challenge, you're a quick scoping genius and you can actually hit shots with this. You should do very, very good work here. Anyway, guys, let's try and get this one to whatever like amount I said earlier. I don't remember the exact number I said, but I'm pretty sure we can do it. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already with those notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of these wacky, zany, insane class setups that we've got coming out very, very soon. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye!